Praise the Lord. Pastor Steve Sterling from the Dallas Revival Center. God bless you in this high holy season, this wonderful uh, realm of high and redemptive and remedial uh, structured restoration that God is bringing in this uh, season of harvest. It's quite amazing, isn't it? As we bear down on Thanksgiving, which is next Thursday, we thank God for him. Uh, with each individual um, bringing restoration to our lives in Psalm 5, excuse me, 51, 12, restore to me the joy of your salvation in Isaiah 61, 7, to grant them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit. So no more uh, ashes, no more mourning, no more faint spirits, amen, but he's bringing beautiful headdresses and putting it upon our heads, gladness, amen, and praise, and giving us um, and speaking to us about his desire to restore individuals to their former joy in wholeness, wellness, and soundness. Hallelujah. Even in relationships, you know, Galatians 6, one, brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who are spiritual should restore them gently, emphasizing the importance of res restoring broken relationships with the community of faith. So broken relationships are being put together again, no matter what you're in, no matter what sin is involved, and God is in the restoring, reclaiming, and recouping and recovering um, realm, doing some amazing things for you as the core of his restoration uh, is bringing reconciliation as we begin to repent and, and forgiveness is flowing uh, in such a tremendous way like never before. Amen. In, of course, Jeremiah 30, verse 17, but I restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast of Zion for whom no one cares. Outcast and for whom no one cares. That's the key right there. If you feel like no one's in your corner and no one really cares, no one really understands. God understands. God cares. And God is working to bring resolution and restitution into your life. Uh, no matter what it may look like, no matter how it may seem, no matter how alone you may, may feel that you are, God is right there. Amen. And, you know, he says in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will and forgive their sin, and I will heal their lands. Isn't that amazing? I will heal their lands. And that's what God is doing. He's bringing healing and, and wholesomeness and collectiveness, soundness, peace, and posture of uh, a, a, a platitude of gratitude and, and just bringing more and more to us as he refreshes us psalm 23 3 he refreshes my soul he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake so god is in the guiding business is restoring business he's taking us along for his name's sake bringing us down the right paths so we can have the things that you know he has always intended us for to receive and of course in isaiah 61 uh, three, and to provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair. No more despair. No more heaviness. No more mourning. No more ashes. Only beauty. Amen. Only praise. Amen. And only a, a, a crown of beauty on your head for these days uh, that we're in the midst of right now. As God reclaims us, restores us, repairs us, renews us, and does so many wonderful things on our behalf, just like he did for Job in Job 42.10. And Job had prayed for his friends, and the Lord restored his fortunes, restored his fortunes. If you feel like you've lost, if you feel like that you have come up short, if you feel like uh, Things have just not worked out and things just can't seem to come together and, and things have fallen out and you feel like you've lost it all. Listen, the Lord restored his fortune and gave him twice as much as he had before. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
Amen. His brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house, and they comforted and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought him, brought on him. Each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. So not only did he recover his family and restore his family and restore his fortunes, but also those that came back uh, were a comfort to him and eased his tension, eased his trauma, and eased his trouble, praise God, and gave him such a wonderful uh, surplus uh, physically, financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Amen. In in Second Kings 8, 6, and, and the king asked the woman about it, and she told him. Then he assigned an official to her case and said to him, give back everything that belonged to her. Give back everything that belonged to her. God is getting ready to give back everything that belonged to you that you've lost. It's been stolen. It's been taken from you. It's been defrauded or you have been uh, lied to or cheated. God's going to give back everything that belonged to you, including all the income from her land and from the day she left the country until now. So all the income, all the residual blessings, all the uh, residual uh, cash uh, that ha have, has been cut off. God is restoring it, reclaiming it, and giving it back, bringing it back, and putting things back in their proper place so that you can walk in his grace and have everything he wants you to have. First Peter 5, 10, and the, the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Restore you, make you strong, firm, and steadfast. It is amazing how fast God can do all that. Well, God bless you in this holy high season of uh, reclamation, restoration, rejuvenation, and and and, uh, and all for God's glory and for your good. And we give God all the praise in Jesus' mighty name.